Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Prerna Bardhan, and I work as a consultant physician at Rainbow Hospital, Gumardi. So today is seventeenth uh, May. This day is celebrated as World Hypertension Day, a day dedicated to highlighting the importance of monitoring blood pressure and bringing global awareness to the one billion people living with high blood pressure worldwide. So uh, today's discussion will be on what high blood pressure is and how to prevent it. So exactly what does a blood pressure mean? So basically each time when the heart beats it pumps blood into the blood vessels this creates pressure against the walls of blood vessel this is called as blood pressure. Normally uh, in a healthy person the blood pressure rises and falls throughout the day but when the blood pressure remains high for a very long time and if left untreated it can lead to serious health complications. A persistent increase in blood pressure higher than normal blood pressure is known as hypertension. Uh, there are various risk factors which predispose a person to the development of hypertension. These risk factors include age. Uh, as the people get older, the arteries can stiffen up and become narrow as there is excess of fat building up. Uh, the second one is family history of high blood pressure. If a person has one or more close family members with history of hypertension, it increases a person's risk of developing the condition. The third thing is excessive salt intake. Another risk factor is not eating enough food uh, containing potassium. Uh, if we take uh, uh, excessive processed and fatty food, that also increases the risk of developing hypertension. Lack of physical activity is, is another, another important uh, risk factor, which is linked to obesity and further it, it leads to high blood pressure. And the last one, but a very important uh, risk factor is stress. So most of the times, hypertension does not have any obvious signs or symptoms, which is why it is often called a silent killer. It, put, it puts people at risk of uh, several diseases ranging from cardiovascular problems to kidney failure, stroke, and even eye damage leading to blindness. Hence, early and accurate diagnosis is very important in the management of hypertension and measuring the blood pressure is the only way to know whether a person has high blood pressure. So um, general, uh, generally, if a, hypertension, a hypertensive patient does uh, develop any symptoms, they will include uh, morning headaches or tiredness. They can have changes in their vision, buzzing in the ears, fatigue, nausea, or vomiting. If a person is experiencing some or more of these symptoms, they should get their blood pressure checked. The good thing about uh, high blood pressure is that it can be diagnosed very easily. It can be measured by using a very simple and basic instrument called sphygmomanometer, and it will uh, help us diagnose whether a person is suffering from high blood pressure or not. So uh, blood pressure is recorded in two numbers, systolic and diastolic. Like when we say that the blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeter of Hg, the upper number indicates the systolic blood pressure, which means the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart contracts, whereas the lower number indicates the diastolic pressure, which means the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is relaxing in between the beats. For simplicity purposes and for understanding, if a blood pressure level is more than 140 by 90 mmHg, then the person is said to have hypertension. And if a person has BP levels higher than this, then he or she might be at risk of developing serious heart diseases. Now, the risk of developing hypertension can be prevented and reduced by taking a very few basic simple steps towards a healthier lifestyle. And these would include regular exercise, healthy diet, cessation of smoking and reducing alcohol intake, regular blood pressure monitoring, stress management, and adherence to medicine. Now we'll take all of these points one by one. Like the first one is regular exercise and physical activity. Regular exercise helps us to maintain a healthy weight, which in my opinion is a very important way of controlling blood pressure. One should aim for at least 30 minutes of aerobic activity most days of the week. High blood pressure level can, reduce, can be reduced by doing regular structured exercises, such as brisk walking, jogging, or swimming. The second important thing that helps to prevent the risk of hypertension is healthy diet, which plays a imp very important role. A diet having a high intake of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains is recommended for hypertensive patients. For lowering blood pressure or preventing hypertension through dietary restrictions, one can adopt a variety of dietary patterns. The most important one that we recommend is the DASH diet, which stands for 
dietary approaches to stopping hypertension diet. This diet is rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and low fat dairy products and skims on saturated fat and cholesterol. This can lower one's blood pressure by up to 11 millimeter of Hg if a person is having a high blood pressure. The second dietary precaution we need to take is eating less saturated fat and total fat. Third thing is we have to get plenty of uh, you know, potassium in the form of diet. And the most important one is reducing the so sodium intake in our diet. Even a small reduction in the sodium in the diet can improve the you know, heart health and reduce, reduces blood pressure by about five to six millimeter of Hg. Now, how can we reduce this sodium in our diet? Now, every food uh, item that we buy that has food labels, which indicates the amount of sodium that is present in that food. So if possible, choose low sodium alternatives of the food and beverages that you normally buy. Eat fewer processed foods. Now, only a small amount of sodium occurs naturally in foods, while most of the sodium is being added during processing. So uh, as far as possible, eat natural products so that the sodium content can be maintained in your diet. And the third thing is don't add uh, extra salt in your food. Just one level teaspoon of salt has 2300 milligram of sodium. So avoid adding salt to food. You instead use herbs and spices in order to add flavor to your food. The other important thing is cessation of smoking. Uh, quitting smoking uh, helps the blood pressure to, to return to normal. It can effectively reduce the uh, risk of heart disease and improves the overall health. The next thing is regular blood pressure monitoring. Now, some of the hypertensive patients check their blood pressure by visiting the doctors, but it is not always possible for patients to visit doctors and check up their blood pressure. So um, what we advise, what advice we give to the patients is self-monitoring of blood pressure at home uh, using the various uh, digital apparatuses that are available in the market. Self-monitoring helps person to measure blood pressure at different times throughout the day and over a longer period of time. And it also assists doctor to get a more complete picture of person's blood pressure readings at different times. It further helps us in better prediction of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality rather than a single routine blood pressure measurement that occurs during a clinical uh, visit. Now, uh, next thing we need to do is stress management. By learning how to relax and manage stress can improve emotional and physical health and it lowers the blood pressure. Uh, stress management techniques will include uh, exercising, listening to music, focusing on something calm or peaceful and meditating. The last and the most important thing is uh, in, apart, in spite of the various lifestyle modifications, if you are put on medications, uh, to lower your blood pressure. The very important thing and the most important thing is to have an adherence to these medicines. Whatever has been prescribed to you has to be taken regularly at a regular time without any uh, break, without breaking uh, the pattern. So at last, I would like to suggest that there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. Adapting healthy lifestyle can help us to enjoy long and healthy life. High blood pressure can be prevented as well as controlled in many ways. Keeping blood pressure in the normal range is very important in preventing cardiovascular complications. And it is very much possible to maintain normal blood pressure with regular monitoring and preventive care. So with this, I'd like to end my talk. And thank you very much to the audience for listening to me. Thank you once again.